Hello and welcome to this video. It's Leonard here again from datalena.com and in today's video tutorial I'm going to share with you how I make between 20,000 Naira to 100,000 and above per transaction trading arbitrage on Binance P2P. Alright, so in this video all I'm going to share with you are three different methods you can actually carry out arbitrage trading on Binance P2P. And the beautiful thing here is that you can do all of this on your Binance app, alright, using just your phone. Okay, so make sure you watch this video to the end to be able to get these three. In one way or the other, you should be able to participate in these three different methods, okay, trading arbitrage with Binance P2P, or at least try out one of it and see how it works. Okay, so if you are new to the channel, you love videos about making money online, about crypto trend investing, then consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel. All right, and if you want to learn more about crypto, you want to learn more about how to use Binance and you know make money with it, and you want to join my weekly Zoom meeting, then link to join the Telegram group will be in the video description. Okay, so with that being said, let me jump into my Binance app. All right. So for you to be able to participate and you know trade these um, three different types of arbitrage trading with the Binance P2P, you need a Binance account. And not just a Binance account, but a verified Binance account. So if you don't have an account already, link will be in the video description to sign up for one. All right. And when you sign up with your email or phone number, just follow the on-screen instruction. Use your BVN if you're in Nigeria to make sure that you verify your account. And with that, you are good to go then you can start implementing these three different methods that i'm going to share with you all right so once i log into my binance app once i open it up the first thing i want to do is to make sure that i click on this p2p trading here on the front page so if i click on it it brings us to this page and here on this page you'll see what people are ready to sell um one usdt to a naira okay one usdt is about 500 and you know 90 naira with the first person 601 naira 602 naira and it continues like that so if i scroll down here you see all of the different prices that people are ready to sell um one usdt for in nigerian naira okay so what we are going to do is to take advantage of this okay because um this value in nigeria is higher and then in some other countries it is lower so the first method of trading arbitrage with binance p2p is to buy either USDT, BUSD, or any other token currency of your choice, okay? Any other coin, here yeah, you can see on the P2P that you can buy and uh, sell um, USDT, BTC, BUSD, BNB, and so on. So any of this, basically what I do is I buy USDT, all right? So you buy USDT in a particular country where it is lower, and then when you exchange it to naira it gives you a higher profit yes it is possible but this is not for everybody all right so i'll just share with you what i do and then you see how you can implement that so to be able to implement this i use i personally use ghana all right so i buy for instance if i go to my web page okay here on the web page this is what it is okay um one ghana cd is about 55 this is what google is giving us which is like the official rate okay one ghana cd is about 55 naira in nigerian naira okay meaning that the ghanaian cds okay is a bit more value all right than the naira just like the dollar is more valued than the naira so what we want to do is take advantage of these differences in price and when we convert it to a Nigerian Naira, we'll make more money, okay? So that is what we are going to take advantage of. Um, we go to Ghana, we buy USDT in Ghana using Ghana CDs and then come to Nigeria and, you know, um, sell those USDT we bought in Nigerian Naira and we'll make more money. And how do we do that? The simplest way to go about this method is that you are in Ghana, and maybe you are earning or you are trading and earning in Ghana cities, okay? So if you are earning your money in the Ghanaian currency, you can easily start converting those money in the Nigerian Naira and then you, you know, vice versa, make more money here and then send the money back and stuff like that, all right? And second way to go about it is that you need to have someone you can trust in Ghana. All right, where you send your money to and they can get it at a good rate because when you want to convert your Nigerian Naira to Ghana CDs, the conversion they are going to give you is not what we just saw on Google right now. Okay, some are giving you at um, um, one Ghana CDs for 80, 
naira some are giving you for 90 naira some are giving you for 90 something naira if you get anything above 77 naira okay if you get anything above 77 naira per Ghana cities you will not be able to make profit from it all right so you need to make sure that you have someone there who can get it at a good rate for you and then they buy the usdt now the person need to have a binance account because when they buy the usdt they send it to you via binance pay yeah they are not paying binance is not charging them any money if they buy 2000 usdt in, in ghana they will send to you 2000 usdt without any fee all right so using binance pay they can send it to you via email or your binance pay id or even your phone number without any charges so even if you send a hundred thousand usdt from ghana in as much as that person has a binance exchange they will send it to you and you will receive a hundred thousand without any fee that is the beauty of it okay so first you need to be operating an account there okay secondly you need to have someone that you can trust and then thirdly you need to have someone who can give you that money at a good um, rate okay at a good rate anything as i said anything above 77 naira to one ghana cds is um it, it won't be profitable in this method that i'm sharing with you okay another method i found out okay which i haven't tried yet is um using this app i just downloaded and sign up for okay this app i will leave the link in the video description if you want to sign up for an account so as you can see here the app is called cheaper all right um this is the cheaper app that i use um they, they have said that they do um, inter-country transactions most especially in african countries and if i come in here to click on send I'll go ahead and search for a Ghana. Okay, this um, account here, this name here is a Ghana account. As you can see, the phone number is equally an, a Ghanaian account, a Ghanaian phone number. So if I click on it, here I can get what this app will be giving me the exchange rate, okay, um, between Naira and, Gan and Ghanaian um, CDs, okay. So if I go ahead and say I want to send, like, let's say I want to get 20,000 Ghanaian CDs. So here, if I go ahead and put in one Ghana CDs here, you see that the rate at which they are giving us is about 75, approximately 76 Naira per Ghana CDs. All right, that is what you are getting it, and this is actually a good rate. If you can send money using this app, I will leave the link in the video description if you want to sign up for um, the app. If you can send money to Ghana using this, it means that the person you're sending the money to Ghana, the person must be having um, equally a cheaper account, cheaper i think that was the name is the person should be having a cheaper account okay so when the person gets this money in his own cheaper account the person can then from here withdraw it to his bank account so from his bank account he can then use it to you know transact on the binance app except if there is anybody on binance who is ready to accept money from this app then you can equally use the app to do that all right so if we go ahead and say let's get twenty thousand again and see this if i put twenty thousand it means that we are getting it at um, one million um 1.5 million 11,000 or there about 1.5 million 12,000 approximately that is what we are getting it at so if why if i do this calculation okay this is let me go back to binance so if I come in here, let's say we are getting 20,000 Ghana CDs at 1,512,000. And then I come in here to this icon here, okay? This is the Nigerian um, Naira icon. So if I click on it, I want to search for the Ghana CDs. So I just click on Ghana CDs and then change it to the Ghana CDs. Here, what one USDT is sold at is at this um, amount, okay? So 7.84 Ghana cities, that is what they are selling it. And then if I want to know if I can buy 20,000 Ghana cities at once, I want to click on this filter icon. So if I click on the filter icon here, I'll go ahead and put in 20,000 Ghana cities and then I make sure that this is checked on where it says show only as for mission. So I'll go ahead and check that on and I click on yes. All right so you see that from this person i can buy from 400 to about 45,000 Ghana cities i can buy from 1000 to about 50,000 Ghana cities okay so if i go with this first person here and i click on buy and then i go ahead and put in 20,000 here 20,000 will give us about 2 2547 USDT right 
20,000 Ghana cities will give us this amount of USDT. This is what we are going to get. Okay. Actually, got um, 2,560 something USDT. Okay. So the price is a bit higher right now, meaning that you need to be checking. All right. You need to be checking on the Binance P2P platform to see the variation in the price. Okay. Actually, got something higher than this. All right. So when you get this, uh, in Ghana cities, let's just let me work with this. Okay, this is what we are going to get 20,000 Ghana cities, which cost us about 1.5 million and 12,000, will give us about five two thousand five hundred and forty seven USDT. All right, 2,547 USDT. If we come back here to the Binance Exchange, all right, if I click here and change this back to the Nigerian Naira. All right, so we are going to be selling this. Let it change, okay? So when we come in here, okay, and then click on the sell tab, we want to sell USD. Make sure that you click on this filter icon, okay? Make sure you click on the filter icon and then make sure that the show as for measures are checked. All right, so here you can see that we can sell our USDT at 601 Naira, USDT at 601. And if you scroll down here, you keep getting different offers, okay? 601. So now, remember what we got? We got 2,547 USDT for 20,000 um, Ghanaian CDs that cost us 1,512,000 Naira, okay? So if I open up my calculator, so if I open up my calculator, okay, we got 2,547 USDT with 20,000 Ghana CD that cost us about 1,512,000 Naira, approximately, all right? Then right now on Binance, okay, one USDT is sold at 601 Naira. It was even more than this earlier today, okay? Before I started this video, it was 603 and, and in above, okay? So if I come back here and say, um, the USDT we got, we got about um, 2,547 USDT, all right, at 20,000 Ghana cities that cost us 1,512,000. So if we go ahead and multiply this by 601 Naira, which is one USDT, you see that we got about um, 1,530,000 Naira. Okay, 1,530,000. So if we go ahead and subtract the what it cost us to buy this from Ghana, all right, minus 1,512,000 Naira, which is approximately, okay, 1,512,000 Naira. That means we are making a gain of about 18,000 Naira per transaction. Okay, 18,000 Naira per transaction. Let's say you paid um, charges, bank charges, or there, but it shouldn't be more than 5,000 Naira. So it means that per transaction, you actually made about, um, um, you made about uh, 15,000 or a booth, all right? This is just per transaction. And you can rinse and repeat this again and again in as much as you have a reliable source, all right? That can be getting you this USDT from Ghana, send it to you on your Binance account via the Binance Pay. You can be doing this again and again. So that is just the first method. The first method is you buying crypto with a different currency in a different um, country and then selling it in your own country for instance in this case in Nigeria at a higher price now the second way you can trade arbitrage with Binance P2P is actually um, buying you know you can buy from the spot market and sell in the P2P market or buy from P2P and sell in the spot market so a few days ago I bought USDT here at 500 and 93 94 naira okay between 93 and 94 naira that is what i bought USDT at the p2p i can come in here to my trade if i go to trade all right here on the spot interface so if i come to trade and i go to the spot interface the next thing is to search for the token i want to trade and i have the option of trading usdt ngn so if i go ahead and type ngn here which is nigerian naira okay if i go ahead and type ngn here you see that i actually bought usdt at 593 naira okay i can come in here and use the limit order to sell my usdt to naira at 616 naira all right so this is the second method trading between spot and then the p2p interface okay you trade between spot and the p2p interface and if i go ahead and click on the chat the 
um, candlestick here, okay, if we look at the historical data, you see that at a point, USDT got up to this 333 on the spot market, and at a point, it was trading, okay, like a few days ago, it was trading somewhere around there at 584. All right, and then you can scroll down here and see, okay, it was even at some time at 550. 57 okay this same day it went up to 600 and then came down again to around this area so you can actually check the time that will be convenient for you and always buy usdt and use the limit order to sell them on the spot market and make profit all right i don't know if you get that the second method is you can buy usdt at a lower price okay from the p2p interface all right you can equally access your p2p here all right and then come in here to you know your spot market you look for usdt ngn okay and then go to sell use limit order specify the amount you want to sell here for instance if i want to sell that particular usdt that i bought at 300 and um, at 593 i will just sell it at 600 and um, 16 naira here all right and then wait again when the price goes down i can equally buy from the spot market here and then go to the p2p interface and sell all right so that is the second method trading in between spot and the p2p platform all right so make sure you follow this guide and you'll be amazed at the kind of result you'll be getting and then the last but not the least method you can trade um, p2p with the binance interface okay the last but not the least is using um, different exchanges okay you can go to any exchange of your choice um this one demands a little of work you need to search all right you need to know um that if i'm buying from this exchange and then transferring my funds to Binance, what will it cost me? Will I still make profit? All of these calculations, you need to make them and know. And the, uh, the most important thing here you should note is that if you want to be profitable trading arbitrage, okay, in all of these three methods that I've shared with you, you need enough capital. The more the money, the more the profit you make from it, okay? The more money you put in, the more profit you make from it. All right, so you can buy from a particular exchange at a lower price, all right, and then come to Binance and sell it at a higher price, all right. So these are just the three different methods I needed to share with you. The first one is buying from different co co countries or different currencies and then selling in Nigeria, okay. The second one, and the first one will profit you more if you're in Ghana. If you're in Ghana, you have a functional account that is operating, you earn your money in Ghanaian CDs, okay? You can be making that, buy USDT, and then use Binance to sell it into your bank account. Now, to show you that it is possible to have multiple accounts on Binance, if I come back to the P2P interface, all right? Once I come back here to the P2P interface and I go to where it says profile, let me just click on profile, Okay, when I click on profile, I have payment method here, okay? If I click on it, I can go ahead and add my payment method here, okay? I can add another payment method. I already have a payment method here. If I have an account in Ghana, I can just click on it, okay? And add the payment method of the account I have in Ghana, all right? Meaning that I can buy crypto operating the bank I have in Ghana and I can sell in. So if you do buying and selling between Ghana and Nigeria, this is the best way to equally be profiting. So you convert your money into USDT, sell it in Nigeria, make more money and then when you go to Ghana, you get more money and stuff like that. You just be doing it right as well and you can carry out this transaction as many as as many times as you can and be making some profit for yourself on a daily basis all right so binance p2p is one of the easiest way you can leverage on to start making money in the crypto space and i just needed to share this um this that i just discovered okay i needed to share this with you if you do like the video give it a thumbs up and if you have any challenge okay you can always leave a comment in this um you can always leave a comment below using the comment section or join my telegram group and ask your questions there and we'll see how best we can help you. That is it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.